This is a short introductory movie for LSEC Workspace. This database has become available in 2024 for a few employees and students. If you need information on the database, you can find that in the Finding Data Libguide, which is shown on your screen. Uh, the database works with accounts. Uh, as soon as possible, we'll make sure to include information on, in the libguide on how to request such an account. This movie will be about using lists that we've created either through LSEC Workspace directly or using lists you can generate based on other databases like CompuStat or CRISP. Um, working with lists and downloading bulk data usually goes the best uh, through the uh, Excel version of Workspace and that requires you to install the Workspace software. A link to that software is also available here in the Finding Data libguide. So let's switch to Excel. When you have installed the Workspace software, there is an add-in for Workspace. And if you have an account, you can sign in to make use of that account. Uh, I've signed in uh, before, but each time it doesn't remember it, you'll have to uh, give in your credentials again. So let's do that. And there we go. It says we've already signed in, which is true. I was signed in in the website, but uh, that doesn't really matter. We can go on from there and sign in. Uh, the list you see on your screen is a list I just made through Workspace in the previous movie. And once you've signed in, you'll get the full uh, Workspace ribbon, which will be populated when it becomes available. Now, you see we have lots of options available here. And there are two main ways to work with lists. Uh, let's use uh, the first way. Uh, before I start, I made a copy of the list um, that I had before uh, to a new sheet with just the icing codes to show you how different codes can work. The main option for uh, bulk downloads is the data stream option. So we click that option and go to the data stream formula button. Uh, we can use the list by clicking the uh, on the right side to the series from sheet button. Then we can select select uh, all the cells with codes. Next, uh, we need to indicate what we're looking for time series data, uh, the data stream data for equities. Uh, what I want is a certain variable, so I can search for that variable unless I know the code. I can immediately type the code, of course. Uh, find data type allows me to uh, search for something. Uh, what I did before was uh, a specific search in a database. These, this is the default screen where you get to when uh, you select uh, the option in your screen. World scope is where the uh, variable probably is, but you can also just type it here. And it will filter the result for the databases. I'm looking for total assets. I can select that option here. I can select multiple options and click the use button so you can download more than one variable in at a time. Uh, so use that way I've selected just one variable. If I want to convert everything to a single currency, I can use the little uh, dollar sign on the right and uh, choose a specific currency to convert everything to. Apply last. You see that it uh, converts everything using a small formula. I want to download from a certain time frame. So I'm selecting, for instance, from 2010 to, let's say, um, let's say 2022. Uh, the frequency needs to be yearly. I'm going to download in such a way that it transposes the data. I want the codes to show up and that's fine. Uh, now we can insert and it starts to uh, collect the data from the server. You see that it starts to retrieve stuff. 
uh, depending on how many variables you choose and uh, how many uh, equities are, there are in the series, it may take a while before it downloads the data. As you can see, the data has been downloaded and yeah, all the codes are repeated, so you can do, do a download to a different sheet uh, to make it more easy for yourself. The, the dates are at the top, and this is uh, a quick demonstration of how bulk downloads work.